Okay, so I have here the Nest thermostat. I'm going to use to replace my Lux Pro. It comes with everything that I need here in the box. As you can see, there's everything there, including manuals. And comes with uh, a screwdriver, screws, the base, the thermostat, and some plates. I'm going to use the base and connect the wires on this side and also on this side. I'm not going to use all of the wires. So basically just press the button here, insert the wires and let the button go. The installation is pretty easy. The base is pretty leaky. And here you're going to use the base like that on a plate. And you can also use the steel plate depending on your installation. Here's the thermostat. I'm going to use it to replace mine that I have right here. And I just need to remove the wood one. Of course, I need to turn off the power first. And here, I'll remove it. And I also need to remove this jumper. I'm not going to use this jumper anymore. Just the wires. So it's a good idea to also take pictures so I have information about the wires. And I can also remove them and label them so I can identify them better. Just like that. So I have all the wires identified here. I use the label that comes in the box. And here we go with the plate. I just installed the steel plate that I need and also the trim plate. And of course, the last step is to install the base. So here we go with the base. I just installed and used those screws to secure it in place. And the last step is to connect the wires. I push the button here, insert the wire and let the button go. And the wires stay connected like this. We we'll have all the wires connected. Next step is to take a look at this arrow to see the right position you're going to connect here. You're going to use this connector and it to match with that one. So that's the idea. You just insert the thermostat like that. And with the gentle push, you lock it in place. And here we go. Ready to go. Then the thermostat starts and you just need to enter all the information that it's going to ask. It's just a wizard that you need to follow. You just look at the screen and start filling all the information, okay? So here, for example, is the language. You just press to confirm and it shows the wires. They're correct, connected. And you push again, enter information about cooling, electric, faucet air, and everything else that you need and keep pushing and following the instruction. And here you can also use your cell phone. You just install the Nest app and you need to sign with your Google account. You just need to create one if you don't have. In my case, I have an account. I'm just going to link my Nest to my account. Just follow the instruction on the screen, confirm that you want to link your account and keep going. Hit continue, home here, my case. And I also need to enter my information my address so I put everything here and just hit next I don't want any promotion hit next okay and keep following the instruction use my phone device location I will allow nest to look for my location here you go I have a map with my location I hit continue and now it's time to enter the QR code. So I hit the plus sign here, allow Nest to use my phone, my camera phone. Here I select QR code, gentle push, and I have the QR code to scan. I just point the camera, scan the QR code, wait for a while and it's done. Okay, continue with the installation, wait for it to connect, just take some time you're going to connect and you have all the information on your, on your cell phone here we go you need to use your your Wi-Fi you select your Wi-Fi and of course you need to enter your password and hit next wait again for the connection and it's finished it okay hit next again and choose the location in this case is in the dining room hit next choose your temperature in my case I'm going to cooling use cooling and it's done and you can also test the system if you want to 
here it's asking you to test. I'm not gonna test right now. I'm just gonna to finish my installation and it's done, okay? Hope you like this video. Please leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, and also don't forget your thumbs up. See you in the next video.